these uh, these are a good bit of my G1s. Mm -hmm. um, these figures are called Monster Force. That was a, a short-lived 90s cartoon. Oh, okay. The living dead have come to life, and the immortal thief has been reborn. Come, children of the light. These are the monsters. Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein, the mummy. A nightmare alliance of supernatural supervillains. In the cataclysmic battle for civilization's survival, one force for good confronts an army of evil. They are Monster Force. Sunday morning at 6.30 on KTTW KTTL. Based on the old Universal Studios Monster Monsters. Force. Yeah, that's a neat one. You ever get time look it up on YouTube? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said it was a cartoon. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have more G1s, the Dinobots, Grimlock with the box. help us in our never-ending battle against the evil Decepticons, we create the incredible Dinobots. Transformers, more than meet the eye. Dinobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, the Transformers. Decepticons are attacking! Dinobots, get them! The Transformers, sold separately from Hasbro. Yeah, there's a there's a few boxes up there. There's a side swipe and wheel jack in the box back there. They're kind of hidden, mm -hmm. but uh, this this was a pretty massive toy line as well. It was honestly. I mean, yes. it's got to be the. I mean, GI Joe and Transformers has to be the two longest running. And Lines, really. it's very expensive now too. And I mean, like if you want, you know, genuine originals, you're gonna pay. Mm -hmm. I know. My, you know, my dad found a huge lot of G1 Transformers. And we kind of cleaned up on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> those are uh, those are the pretenders. Oh, okay. They have uh, little um, transformers inside the shell. That was at the end of the line. A lot of people don't remember them very fondly. <laughs> yeah, they. Now, this is under the flag here in this room, in the showcase here. Uh, that top shelf, there's um, there's a set of uh, the first few waves of uh, G.I. Joe. Okay. Um, and then the rest of the case is all, it's all mask. And there and there. Protected tubes here. This is one of your favorite lines, right? I, this mask. I, I do like mask a lot. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Convert Switch Blade to jet mode. Surprise, Matt Tracker. It's mayhem. Battle station. Protected decoder, Bruce. I'm going up. Stacks ready to fire. Mask, Switch Blade, Thunderhawk, and Rhino. Fire! Each sold separately with action figure. Cover me, Matt. 10-4. Sato's getting away! But you're not, Mayhem. Mask, Switchblade, Thunderhawk, and Rhino, each sold separately, new from Kenner. Another great product by Kenner. Mm -hmm. I imagine this is almost kind of a tough one to complete. Lots of pieces? Are there are lots of pieces um, for these? Um... Yeah, I'd say so. 
Is this a complete collection? You have all the mask pieces? Um, all except for a couple of the foreign battle packs. I've been I've watched a couple of the episodes. Did you watch the cartoon when you were a kid? I love the cartoon. I was very fortunate. My mom um, found quite a few VHS tapes over over the years, mm -hmm. and when I was a kid, any time that we would see any VHS tapes with the old cartoons, we would grab what we could mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so over on this wall we have um, some of the uh, just a bunch of random some Masters Universe some Centurion Star Wars um, is, that, is that sealed by chance or no it it's uh, it's open Point shred, there's a there's a spy door there. Black star. Yeah, that's a that's a hard one to complete now. The battle beasts. Yeah, this is this is the first two this is the first two three waves and then um, slowly getting into uh, the laser beast. This would have been uh, the fourth wave. Oh, okay. They were a little, a little different, but uh, only the first, uh, only the first wave of laser beasts made it to the U.S. The rest were only sold overseas. Oh, wow. They're very expensive. Battle beast. Wood. Fire. Fire burn. Wood. Battle beast. Fire. Water. Water puts out fire. Battle beast. So you're on the hunt for those? Yeah. <laughs> it is a pretty cool lot, for sure. But I would, yeah, this would be a hard one to complete. Yeah, a lot of... Foreign releases, and even the weapons. Yes. Yeah, weapons are hard to find for those. Yeah, the play sets are another thing that's... Pretty hard to find. They had a, they had a playset for the water, um, wood, and fire. Oh, okay. Um, now I have Here's boxes the, for the two the of them. One, right? Yeah, that would be the fire one. You have the boxes. I do. They are fantastic looking. Mm -hmm. Then we have Chris Star. Chris Star. A fantasy world of crystal warriors, demons, and wizards. Good wizards like Ogeodi, evil wizards like Zardeth, and underworld demons like Moltar. They've captured Ogeodi! Each figure with a crystal prism that makes everything look like this. Greatness and might, evil and might, the winner is up to you! The Saga of Crystar Collection. Each figure sold separately by Remco. The Saga of Crystar. That's the infamous, super fragile crystal castle. Is it fragile? It's like a plastic dinner plate. It's like... Oh, I haven't had any problems with this one, but I know a lot of people... I think that the person that I got this off of, I think they took very, very good care of it. Um, but I've heard horror stories of people <laughs> buying them on eBay and getting them in pieces when they show up. I won't poke at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though. It's a cool playset. Mm -hmm. neat, neat concept.
the uh, I was gonna say the crystal dragon. Um, nine times out of ten, when you find them, the the wings are always broken off. Now, was this a cartoon? No. Yeah. No, just a comic. Comic. Yeah. Thunder helicopter. I know that's pretty rare. Yeah, you don't see that too often. It's actually hanging right above your head oh, there. Okay. That's another really, really fragile piece. I found the pilot somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just out and about. I had no idea what it, what it was when I picked it, it up. Yeah, it doesn't. Re it's, it just looks like a generic. Yeah. Almost kind of like figure. a mask size figure. Sure. Mm -hmm. These ones up here, this is actually from Highlander, the animated series. Oh, okay. And they were only sold in the UK. And they look fantastic. They are spot on to the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Very few lines over the years, I think, can actually say that they look just like the cartoon in every aspect. That was like mid nineties. Mid nineties. Now was this was this over here? Um, the cartoon was over here. It was yes. For whatever reason, they did not release the toys in the states. Mm. There was um, I was gonna say there was some vehicles. They even made a, a child size uh, uh, like sword and uh, okay. it lights up. I have it downstairs, mm. but uh, but the vehicles are neat too. I mean, but that was all sold in the UK. Wow. Those are neat figures. Yeah, uh, the cartoon was pretty um, in depth. It, it was on for a season, but you know, a season back in the '90s and '80s was like 65 episodes. Exactly. So um, below that, um, they're actually called rocks and bugs and things. <laughs> rocks and bugs and things. Yeah. All right. Um, Look no further. Rocks and buds and things are here in a never-ending battle for domination, where Trapasaurus fights off evil beetle, while Gravel Guts and Bloodstone confront the buzzing menace of Wicked Cricket. It's rocks versus bugs, with mortals as a tasty prize. Where will the evil end? Can robots, soldiers, or heroes stop them? They're on the move and ready for action. Rocks and buds and things from Ideal. Gentleman by the name of John Kent is uh, he's on. He actually owns owns the rights to that line now, along with uh, Robo Force and a few others. Um, but uh, these come out in the '80s, and um, a few years ago, uh, John re-released um, the Mortals that came with them. Yeah, I, I, I don't recall this no, storyline at all. I, I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't remember it either. It was made by Ideal okay. um, and did not last very long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're very creepy looking. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this one. Yeah. yeah, you squeeze them in the, and the jaw is open. And okay. This, uh, this one pull. almost looks like the... Uh, Star Wars monster mm -hmm. yeah. that the Millennium Falcon yep. flew into. I'm sure it has a name, but <laughs> I can't recall it right now. Who do we have down here? These are Schwarzenegger Commando Ooh. figures. These are the small ones. I have I have the large ones downstairs. The large ones are six inch. I think these ones are three. Mm -hmm. Don't see those too often. No, no. Just a, just a couple random Robotech figures, boxes. Um, this is the second wave of Barnyard Commandos. Oh, yes. Barnyard Commandos! Secret codes used by the rebel army of militant sheep. Code word. Dab, 
Doc. Code word. Lab out. Ab out. Look out. Code word. Lab and Mab ein. Landmine. Barnyard Commando. Action figures from Payday. Very cool. And they all had like the green or odd colored. Yeah, they were them. like, yeah. Yeah, they were like camoed. Is that a vehicle from it the is. second series? It is. That's that's the biplane. Oh. There was a helicopter for the hams. I have that's that's in the closet over there. Yeah, it wasn't a super well received line. Mm -mm. And uh, the second wave is much harder to find. Mm -hmm. Well, from what I've read, it like the second wave mainly hit dollar stores, yes. and, like discount yeah. stores. Yeah, I think it was a lot of, I'm a lot of closeout stuff. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people didn't even know that it actually came out. We have, uh, we have some Willow. Willow. Mm -hmm. Mad again. This. Uh, particular willow figure this one actually comes with the baby oh. and this was actually recalled because they considered it a, a choking hazard <laughs> so well, that was interesting Gina. yeah in the shell <laughs> yeah I'm surprised they didn't do um Actual toys? Yeah, standard, typical action yeah. figures for Willow. No, no, they never did. And, and this one is. Yeah, it's yeah. That one's a little, a little articulated. Um, a lot of people don't know that uh, there was actually three vehicles released for this line that were only sold through um, Sears through their, you know, through the old, you know, the old wish book. Okay. And they are incredibly hard to find. I would imagine. That was the only way that you could get them. Oh, you have some over here. I do. Miss that. In the box. And I recently was very was very lucky to come across a friend of mine. We were able to go in on I needed the box and mm -hmm. he needed the toy, so I was able to get the box for swing shot. That is a hard one. Hard one to find. That that came out at the very end of the line. Um, this um, the traumatizer and sea bat. Okay. They were the, the. They were the last of mm -hmm. that line. Because this line only lasted like a year or two, right? Yeah. Yeah. And these are yeah. actual yeah these package. are yeah these are the in the package yeah there's there's a Jake Rockwell and a Max Ray there but I I have an oh. entire sealed set in the case Terror and Hacker battle Centurions, Max Ray and Ace McCloud. The Centurions call for more powerful weapons. Energize. Max gets Tidal Blast. Ace gets Orbital Interceptor. They strike back with added firepower. Max by sea. Ace by air. Centurion! Power Extreme! Man and Machine! Figures as shown, other toys sold separately. New from Kenner. I love how you have multiples of the figure to display the various equipment. That's your Centurion's dedication right there. <laughs> but you're right, I'm like, cause the, the, the stuff that I got from you, you know what I mean? I, I have the accessories now, mm -hmm. but I really don't have figures to display them on, so. Yeah, it's, yeah, they look better when they're actually on the figure. Mm -hmm. um, this one here um, is Seabat with all the hoses. Oh, wow. That one's uh, that one's pretty rare. I have the box for that one too. It's 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 kind of obstructed, but uh, that's uh, 
that's a hard one to find. When did you start collecting Centurions? I'm gonna say probably, I'm gonna say late to maybe mid 90s. Okay. So I was lucky to find some stuff fairly cheap, but that's uh, the figure that's in the middle there with uh, yeah, he's that's the unproduced John Thunder prototype. Oh wow! He was supposed to come out in in the second wave along with another Centurion. His name was Rex Charger. Mm -hmm. um, they would have been the two new Centurions, and um, it would have been quite amazing to get all of them and their Absolutely. their equipment. How'd you get that guy? Uh Many years of searching. <laughs> that is, that's the traumatizer. That is, that's one of the rarer pieces. And for whatever reason, that did not, it, the traumatizer, sea bat, and swing shot technically were supposed to be part of the second wave. Okay. Um, as far as I can tell, um, I know the Traumatizer was sold through Sears. You could get it through their through, through their catalog. I I don't have um, I don't have a definitive answer on whether Seabat and Swingshot were sold through Sears as well, um, but hmm. they did. It did make it out just in very small quantities. Awesome. I really dig this line. You kind of got me into the Centurion line. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cartoon was good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching the cartoon, kind of catching the bug a little bit. Oh, and then we have Silverhawks. Silverhawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. Bustle, bust them out. Shredder too. Stargazer, seen us. Figures with weapon birds sold separately. Slyver, surgery board, Quicksilver, activate power wing, Gallywalk, engage scissor wing. Now take him down. Mumbo Jumbo Airshot, it's hero stomping time. No way. Buzzsaw with Shredder, Quicksilver with Tallyhawk, other figures with weapon birds sold separately. Silverhawks, new from Kenner. Now that is a complete loose set. Um, the Quicksilver there in the ultrasonic suit is actually a first shot prototype. Mm -hmm. um, I have the actual figure that was produced on the card and the only way that you can tell that that is a first shot and it's an, um, it is a functioning first shot which a lot of times that didn't happen. Okay. They, they left out a lot of things. Um, but that one does not have any dates on it, on the legs. There's no official um, stamp that it, was, it, that it was produced by Kenner. And the, the skin tone is actually lighter on this one than the actual, than the actual figure that, that came out. It was a little more, I'm a little more pink, almost like, a, almost like Steel Will next to him mm -hmm. how he, he mm -hmm. he's just a little like the tone was just a little bit a little bit more i guess fleshy right right and this lasted a what, couple years um actually only two okay two years and uh, the second wave is much harder to find than than the first but it's also very hard to find nice examples of loose ones. A, a lot of times, the right. Right. the vac metalized doesn't it it doesn't seem to hold up well over time. So, if you have them and they look nice, don't touch them. <laughs> Just the oil on your skin. Will... It it does. It yeah. it has an effect on it. It seems to it seems to rub it off. Now, what do we have up here? Those are. Those are the Galaxy Rangers that we were talking about. Oh, okay. That was a cartoon that was out in the States um, for actually quite 
I think like I think two or three seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get them on Amazon, but um, th but the figures were only sold in the UK. Um, the horses, um, they had a couple uh, like role-playing accessories. There was a, a water pistol and a electronic laser pistol, okay. but that stuff was only sold overseas. And they're kind of like. They're about brave they're, star size. Look. They're actually a they're they're not quite that tall. They're okay. about the same size as the Thundercats. Oh, okay. okay. Speaking of, so we're gonna run into next here in this cabinet of awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> one of one of uh, favorites of many collectors, right? Thundercats. I think they look great. Mm -hmm. I used to love the cartoon. Thunder, 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 thunder. Introducing the evil mutant warriors. Rattero, Vulture Man, Groom the Destroyer. Battle against Lion O and the new Thundercat allies. Hatchet Man, Snowman. Tusco Warrior, the battle is on for the Sword of Omen. Thunder, 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 thunder. Figures and vehicles each sold separately from LJN. Yeah. I was very fortunate enough to have a toy show here in Pittsburgh that uh, has actually been going for the last um, probably close to I don't know, probably close to uh, 30 years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the early 90s, I was able to get um, a lot of these. Really? Yeah. So you didn't pay nothing dollar collector prices? Nothing what they go for now. Uh, but on, on the end here is Driller and Stinger. Those, were, those are the two rare um, Thundercats figures. Mm -hmm. They were only released overseas. They were a part of a subline called uh, uh, the Rampagers. Amazing. And then on the little shelf that's in there is um, a set of tiger sharks. Oh, These are very rare, um, especially with uh, the weapons. Wow. So I need to look for that. Arm attachment, from yeah. That, Nico that I found, huh? Yeah. <laughs> For five bucks. Good luck. <laughs> I thought he was a cool looking figure. This guy is. I don't know his name. That would be T Ray. T Ray. Yeah, he actually has. Um, he has the most accessories of, of, of all the figures. He, uh, he comes with a whip, and then he comes with a, water breathing, water squirting. Um, mask and backpack. Okay. And it still works. Oh. I don't think they've released this cartoon yet. It is not on DVD. I know I know there are uh, some bootleg copies of the first few episodes. I have I have one copy. Um, but it's uh, the quality is not very good. Yeah. Um, it's probably VHS quality. Yeah, that was in um that was in a group that that was in like an hour long um, cartoon segment called the comic strip and there was there was actually four different cartoons and they were like I think I think they were like 20 minutes a piece or okay. they weren't a full half hour mm -hmm. and uh, that was Rankin Bass right yes yeah famous for Rudolph that's true <laughs> another Christmas classics on the top shelf here. Now this is a labor of love for me, <laughs> Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, because if any of the watchers out there remember, um, our parents were not fond of Dungeons and Dragons. There was quite a stigma against that back in the 80s. Um, and I, for one, had a mother that did not want anything to do with me <laughs> having any sort of thing that was named Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. And I thought the figures were absolutely fantastic. Uh, the playset is probably one of my favorite personal 
favorites. I thought that this line was incredibly well done. In the eerie world of deep, dark dungeons, mystery and magic seem real. There's good against evil with advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures. War Duke, Kellogg, Strongheart, and Bronze Dragon, each sold separately. Beware, Strongheart, you'll cast an evil spell and steal the treasure. Well, evil is no match for good. The treasure is safe. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures, Kellogg, War Duke, Bronze Dragon, Strongheart, each sold separately from LJN. This was an LJN product. Oh, LJN, okay. Same people did Thundercats. Mm-hmm. And the WWF Superstars. It is a good looking line. Um, some of the figures down there, um, they're actually called um, shield shooters. And they have like a, a projectile that shoots out of the shield. Hmm. They were pretty much the last of the line and most people thought when they came out that the sculpts were the same as um, some of the original um, Dungeons and Dragons figures that came out and they're actually they're actually much different um, the the faces a lot of the body parts are actually new sculpts hmm. a lot of um, a lot of cloth capes and, and cloaks and yeah. lots of accessories and I had no idea that this line was this large well and then on top of it um, Dungeons and Dragons had a cartoon back around the same time but these figures um, were not specifically tied to the cartoon mm. none of the the main characters um, from the cartoon were made in toy form, except for um, some PVCs. Okay. Um, but now, whether or not they had had planned, you know, to tie them all together, um, I really don't know. Um, but there are um, a couple characters that they made toys of that made brief um, cameos in the. In the in the cartoon okay. um, the only thing pretty much in this case that was a mainstay on the cartoon was the five-headed dragon Tiamat okay. War Duke was in one or two episodes and then um, the good paladin um, strong heart the other guy on on the horse at the very end oh, there okay. he was he made a uh, he made a brief appearance 